Hello, welcome back. My controller's actually working this time. <laughs> uh, last time, I did a whole bunch of boss rematches, and they were a lot of fun. They taught me many things about the combat system that I just glossed over when I played the normal game. A whole bunch more to go here. I worked through most of the normal bosses. I just have Polar Knight to go, and Black Knight if you count him. Then all the Wandering, Adventurers, and Enchantress stuff. So let's start with Polar Knight. Nothing extra, just normal gear. I do get a Fire Wand. Okay, that's cool. That's a good weapon. Uh, now, I shouldn't waste it on stuff like that. Just to be sure. So just a Flare Wand, normal Shovel Blade, Stalwart Plate. Okay. So how does Polar Knight work? I can do... I can pogo on him a little bit, but he puts his shovel over his head and doesn't let me do that, and then... then stuff. The real hazard in this fight is that he creates spikes. Hmm. Now hang on, I need to... I need to find something out. When I fought Propeller Knight, um, my technique for him relied on... Him taking damage and being able to un unable to damage me because of that. It seemed like that was not applying to Polar Knight here. That's probably because he pushes a snowball in front of him. And I can't make the snowball take damage to make it unable to damage me. Alright, so getting on his head is not the best. Also, that's a... that has quite a range on it. So let me try this. What if I shoot high so I miss the snowball? I can hit him like that. When is the right time to actually get in an attack on you? Am I supposed to be using my shovel in those snowballs? Maybe? I don't remember this fight super well. And I'm not sure I ever really understood much about it. I was so focused on the spikes that I don't really know what he does. Let's try shoveling the snowballs. It works, but what good does it do me? Do I do this until I get close and then do that? But see, then I still take damage. Is he just so big that his my invincibility to him runs out before he walks all the way through? That might be it. Hmm. Okay, I don't really have a plan here yet. I can do some of this, and that's handy. Every time he takes damage, it looks like it changes sides, so maybe I can... Goad him into doing that. Well, no, not every time. See, if I do it like this, it's just going to be chaos. It might work, but it's going to be chaotic. Oh. Stop doing what you're doing. Seriously, cut it out. Now I'm behind you somehow. <laughs> okay, I'm out of magic. Uh, yes, more ground. Okay, I won somehow. Hmm. A lot of the other fights taught me stuff. That one I didn't really understand at all. But I guess that's a win. So, okay, I'll take it. <laughs> Black Knight. Which Black Knight? This Black Knight. Alright, so this guy does a lot of stuff. I get a throwing anchor, and that's it. Alright. I remember this as being not too bad, actually. Right, I can play this game with him if I want to. Okay. Sure, I can play that game with him. Now, I had a lot more tools for the previous time I did this. Not having those tools is going to make this a bit harder. Uh, so what do you do? You do meteors... Right, I remember one of my strategies was to charge up a dynamo mail on a meteor. But that's not an action that's available to me right now. Okay. Hmm. So I get 50 seconds. I didn't pay attention to the time limit in Polar Knight. I guess it wasn't a problem, because it never ran out. It was just about survival there. So I can't do much to him while he's phasing around like that. I guess just, just avoid for a while when that happens. There's no warning for that as far as I can tell. That just happens. His feathers are spiky, so I don't want to be touched by them. Why does he have wings? <laughs> it's so weird. <laughs> that seemed mostly okay. 
If I get close, he just smacks me with my shovel like I'm trying to do to him. See, now I can't take this slow, careful approach because I'm already halfway, more than halfway out of time. Like, I need a much quicker way to deal damage. I have a fair bit of magic to use on these throwing anchors, but I don't think I should spend them while he's on the ground. Alright, so let's try this strategy again. Somehow. See, now, when he does this, it just wastes so much time. I can't... There's no hitting him as he phases by. I can hit him with his own stuff, sometimes. Just, he has too many attack patterns. So I guess mm, the way to avoid his spiky feathers is just to know when it happens and not be in the wrong area. But I just, I need to kill you so much quicker than this. And you start all the way over there. So it takes a long time before I can even get one hit. It seems like he has almost a different pattern for every single time he gets hit or something. So I shouldn't take that hit. Can I... what can I change here? I just need to be landing a lot more hits that I'm attempting here. My problem is I'm missing so much. And now he's gonna do this again, waste all of the time. Stop that. Like, as soon as I touch him, he changes pattern. So unless I can get, like, multiple hits, I have to deal with pattern changes that really take a long time. Especially the phasing back and forth one. How do I avoid having you do that? Like, stop that right now. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. I can't. There's no stopping that. It's just gonna happen. Alright, next hit he changes to feather form, right? Yep. not hit him with his throwing anchor at all, apparently. Being aggressive like this just means I die. Not being aggressive means I run out of time. Okay, I got two hits on him when that happened, at least. Just have to wait. Okay, that was fine, I guess. So two bounces, and he does that. Eh. What is the meteor pattern? How do I avoid those? I'm not actually sure. Those flash. Usually when things flash, it means I want to knock them back at whoever's throwing them. I made it farther than usual, somehow. I'm still out of time, though. Like, that move there is not even going to happen within the time limit. So he got that hit, and then he's invincible for this entire duration, and there's nothing I can do. Like, I wish there was something I could do to just avoid letting him do that, ever. Because that would be ideal. I don't know if this is better, or if trying to use the throwing anchor is better, or if I'm supposed to do both at once somehow. Like, this is clearly the time for throwing anchors, as long as I don't get hit a hundred times by the meteor, like I always do. Oh, that got him on the, on the downswing. Ooh, let's do that some more. Nope, now he does this. And I just have to wait. Can I get stuck in the corner and just, like, dig at his back for a while, even if I take a couple of hits doing it, maybe? Do I know which side he'll land on? Well, I don't currently. So let's try right, left, right, left, right, uh... That didn't work at all. As soon as he takes a hit, he gets knocked back, he goes out of range, and also I take a bunch of damage too. Okay, so... <laughs> everything I'm trying is a terrible strategy. Apparently. There's just no safety from these things. Also, why did that suddenly murder the frame rate for no good reason? That's weird. What do you want me to do here? Like, I'm barely getting him halfway down within the time limit. I may have to set this aside and try a different battle in a moment, because this is just going so poorly. 
How do... Okay, that's... Mm, without getting any damage in, if he goes into that phase, something's wrong. What if I use the throwing anchor from a distance? He immediately powers up to do that. Can I stop that by hitting him with a purple thing? Seems like the most reliable way to get the first hit is that. So he's powered up. I can do this, but it takes some time. Not a lot of time, but some time. That's possible. Okay, so that can happen. Wow, went right over his head. <laughs> okay, you come down here. Don't do that move. That's my least favorite move. Which means that a good strategy for you is to do it a lot. Okay, well this is not as far off as it could be. Like, this could almost have turned into a victory. I got him down to one. Okay. So I guess I'm doing the right thing, kinda. <laughs> I just have to do it slightly better. Alright, so stomp. He's gonna do that. There's nothing I can do about it. That seems like a reasonably reliable way to get a hit. I wonder if I could get up on top of him there. Ouch. I always forget he does that. Come down here. Yes. Okay, you can do that. Ow. Hmm. I only had six seconds left. See, what went so well the time I did well was the, the number of times I hit him in the air, I think. Yeah, he's completely invincible for this entire phase. Just nothing I can do. Have to wait. Yeah. Why could I... I didn't land any of those hits. I have to land those hits. There's no point in continuing if I miss those. Kind of have to land every hit that I have an opportunity to... Yep. I go right through him. I do go out of that one. I've been assuming I had to knock it back every time. Right, so I wanted to attempt to land on top of him and that happens. I can a little bit, but he moves horizontally too fast, so I can't actually take advantage of that. Boy, if only I could be on top of him there. Although he has his shovel upward, so maybe that wouldn't work. Ooh, I can pogo on the meteors and reach him. That could work, maybe. Alright, so just one hit, start this, that stupid thing. Alright, he does that. If I can nail all of those, it'd be so great, but I just can't. Alright, give me a meteor. That's not good enough. So, wait a minute. Sometimes when he phases around like that, he doesn't do this big move, apparently. Alright, how's his health? It's, uh... Uh... Arr! I guess I'm getting closer. I'm learning a lot about how this fight works. Okay, that's a quicker way to do that. Oh, he's kind of low. I could almost reach him, but not quite. Okay, I got three hits like that. That was pretty good. I was gonna do this again. This attempt looks kind of okay. Maybe, almost. Anchor, 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 twi three, three times? No, not gonna happen. One of these times. Just one, two, two more. No! Wait, what? So he doesn't always do that at the start. Okay. Low enough to hit. Uh, that causes me a lot of damage that you had to die from that. 
Wow, I almost won. Somehow. Ah, oh, really? Ah, oh, so close. Whoa, wait, he's in this phase now? I somehow skipped the, um, the invincible phase. How did I do that? So there's obviously some way to manipulate which pattern he does, but I don't understand how to do it. Also, no matter where I stand, those meteors hit me. I'm pretty sure they target me in some way. See, he's doing this. How, what triggers this? Like, it, it seems like it's implied that there's some action I take that causes him to do that. But I don't know which action that is. I'm not a magic. I have a theory. I think that the, um, the magic invincibility move, that one... Nope. I had a theory that it was caused by jumping on his head, and I wanted to try not doing that just to see if he wouldn't do his other thing. Whoa, that was nice. Uh, it didn't work. As you can see. I'm getting better at hitting both of those. And he's low like this. That sometimes works. He holds still when that happens. That's the best thing about that pattern. Like, most of the problem here is he's just moving around so much. I just need to hit him once. I just need to hit him once. I just need to hit him once. Here, have one of those. Or one of those. Okay. Okay. There are still more things I could have learned about that, but I'll just take my victory. Alright, Black Knight done. Freeze! I have Chaos Ball. I don't remember much about how you work. You have boomerangs. That's about all I know. Uh, I don't have much life to work with here. Can I just, like, sit on your head for a while? <laughs> That's always the third first thing I try, because it works so well when it works. You move around too much for that to work. Okay. So he jumps around like a crazy man. Whoa! That's a nice triple hit with the... Alright, so those are those make him invincible. Even if I miss them, hitting him through them is no good. Okay. Chaos Ball is, as its name implies, rather ca Oh, hey, I can interrupt his boomerang throws. That's cool. Seems like a good idea. Has he lost one of his boomerangs? No, okay, so when one of them is out, he... Mm, yeah, anyway. Come on now. Kind of just throwing these things all over, hoping they'll do something good, because they actually tend to do a pretty good job, it seems. So he likes to jump around a lot. That's his thing. Uh, I mean, yeah, Chaos Balls are pretty okay at... Oops, I didn't need to throw two. Pretty okay at handling that, though. My problem is I'm not doing a good job dodging stuff that he does, but really, this... This could work eventually. Just <laughs> flailing around like this. <laughs> so when he does that, that's an event. Like, I need to, I need to stop and deal with his fire shield. Yeah, I don't feel like I need to do anything different. I just, if I do the same thing a few more times, it'll eventually start working. Chaos Balls tend to get two or three hits, so they're pretty good. I just shouldn't waste them so much like that. Yeah, I see why they're good, because he jumps back on every single hit and tends to jump into where they are. So if I can just get rid of his fire shield kind of quickly... Wait, did I damage him with the shield up? I did. So with one fireball, he's not invincible. Okay, that's good to know. Alright, 
So wait a moment, throw the thing. One, two, All right? Yeah, this movement pattern just happens to make those extremely effective. Heck, that's almost all I need to use, except when this happens. Okay. Then go back to Chaos Balls. If I, could, if I can hit them, hit them once with them, they tend to hit a few more times. Yeah, I almost got them. There we go. Okay. So that fight is all about the Chaos Balls. The Baz. I remember this guy. I think I even kind of remember how he works. So he's protected on top because of his rope. He has a big reach, so there's really no angle where I could safely attack him from there. But he's, he doesn't always keep that on his head. Wait, what? Why can't I attack? My attack button is doing nothing? What happened? Why is my shovel disabled? Like, I'm pressing the attack button, and nothing is happening. Does he... I was definitely still holding my shovel. Was that... There was no visible reason for that. Hang on. What's going on here? I think I broke something. Like, I can, I can still shoot my thing, so my button's working. But just, like, Shovel Knight forgot how to use his shovel. What? I, I don't think I can win this way. That's unlikely. So, what? Like, that persisted between two attempts here. Can I attack? No. Can I attack elsewhere? That's kind of busy. Wait a minute. No? My shovel hasn't been disabled this whole time, right? It works here. Hang on, is my shovel just disabled during that and I didn't notice the first time? Defeat the boss within the time limit. Still does not work. There's nothing to indicate that I'm not supposed to be able to use my shovel here. Hang on, I'm not... Since there's no indication whatsoever of that, I don't think that's supposed to be that way, so what if I restart the game? <laughs> this has never happened before. Come on, Steam, do your thing. You say you're preparing to launch Shovel Knight. What is there to prepare? Just do it. Just do it. Just do it. <laughs> there, finally. Man, Steam is a terrible piece of software sometimes. Uh, okay, so let's see if that has accomplished anything at all. Can I use my shovel now? The answer is no. So I guess I just don't get my shovel during this fight, but it doesn't tell me anything about that. This unusual weapon requires great skill to master. Like, I'm... I'm not convinced of that yet, because... In all other places... Defeat the boss within the time limit. In all other places... When I couldn't use my shovel, it told me about it. Like, if I would try the Mr. Hat fight... Then yes, my shovel works. Okay, well... Alright, I will just accept that that's a mechanic that it just does not tell me about in any way. That is, like, a huge oversight. What? Alright, so magic only. Magic and pogoing. Like, why would it not tell me about that? Also, he knows how to jump over fireballs, apparently. I can only keep this up for so long. So I guess I need to... Okay, I don't have that much time. So you're telling me I have to deal damage a lot faster than this without being able to swing my shovel. Except you're not telling me that. You're only showing me. <laughs> okay, I don't understand how this is supposed to work then. Still feels like something's broken. But, I mean, that's... it's consistent, I guess. I'm gonna have to look back in footage and see if I was ever able to swing the shovel in this fight. I know I tried, I guess I just didn't notice that I couldn't. This is bizarre. It also doesn't feel like this is a fight that makes a huge amount of sense to... to do that for. 
Like, I can't... If I'm out of magic... Oh, okay, sure, that happens. If I'm out of magic, there's just no damaging him when he's up there. Like, it's impossible. Uh, unless I've ridden him up or something. So I guess I want to do as much of this as I can when he's up there just to use the magic. Because this sometimes works, but sometimes it just damages me instead. So you're gonna do that. I still have magic. Uh... Uh... What? How? Like, having to sit on top of him means I'm gonna take a lot of damage. And every single one of these magics that I waste is, like, a really serious problem. Okay, hey, so that worked somehow. That was nice. Maybe that's enough good luck to make this all just work. It's being constantly struck by lightning here, which makes being on top of him extra dangerous. Okay, I have enough magic to just win this fight, so let me just stay back and be careful, except... No, well, stay back and be careful. That means run out of time. Okay, so I think I've shown that it is possible, just, like, really super impractical. If I'm invincible from taking a hit, I can actually get on top of him when this is happening, but that's a terrible way to spend my health. I can see when that's about to happen, so I guess I should avoid him then. It's probably at a specific amount of health that I have not bothered to learn yet. Oh wait, if he's taken damage from my fire, maybe I could also take advantage of that. Or maybe I can just get better at that, maybe. Okay, so he's gonna do that. Okay. Okay, okay, that's interesting. Hey, that would totally worked. Alright, I guess it's acceptable. I just wish it had specifically told me that I can't use my shovel. So that I wouldn't have to go looking to see if it's some sort of weird bug or something. Because that was super weird. Alright, so I guess we're doing Mr. Hat. Maybe? I get no relic. I don't think I get really anything. I get 35, 34 seconds by the time the battle starts. So be quick about this. You're not very good at attacking upward, it seems. Okay. Well, heck, that first attempt almost worked. <laughs> so how do I tell what you're about to do? I mean, like, which hat you're wearing probably determines the attack pattern you are going to choose. If I'm just sort of off to the side while you're doing that, it seems... semi-safe. Alright, so when he's doing the hat shield... I should not be in close proximity to him. Got it. This is a really tight time limit. But also I remember this not being a particularly hard boss. Does he lead those shots? Like, that was aimed perfectly to hit me as I came by. I don't know how coincidental that might have been. I wonder if I can knock any of this stuff back at him. Let me try his red spears, because I think he always does that first. Uh, no, he doesn't. I don't get the opportunity. Fine, whatever. Oh, this was nice. That was very nice. If I could just do some more of that. I did a little more of that. Hey, I got him. Okay. That worked, I guess. <laughs> I even had a bunch of time to spare. What the heck is the big creep? I don't even know what that is. Oh, this guy. I remember. Got it. Okay. Alright, well, I guess... Mm, I guess I'll stop for the day. So, Phantom Striker was another boss you encounter on the road. The big creep is the big bo uh, the, uh, ghost. Then I know what those two are. Okay, so just four more of those to go. I think what I'll do... I'll get those four cleaned up next time. 
Then maybe take a super quick look at this New Game Plus mode. Uh, I read a little bit about what it is. Well, I don't want to do it now, but now I've <laughs> gotten stuck in that. <laughs> anyway, so that's how I'll close out the normal game. Then I guess after that I'll probably start a new game as Plague Knight. Yeah. I know that the screen is set up so that you, they could there could totally be more characters someday. <laughs> I don't know if there are any plans to do that, but it'd be cool. Alright, so that's the plan. Uh, I'll see you next time to finish, finish up challenges and see a little sample of New Game Plus.